It's double A. Kerry Fleming, senior from Prospect High, 43-7-6 in the prelims. That was the top time. Kerry Fink of Hersey High School, she had 44-10. And of course, things riding on the team portion of the event as well, because Elvira Williams of East St. Louis Lincoln running in lane two, Natasha Foreman of Evanston running in lane six. And I wonder if anybody else besides me has noticed that, boy, it got dark all of a sudden here. Had rain, a little bit of rain here this morning. The track is finally just about dried out, but it's starting to get a little imposing looking just to the west of us again. Keep an eye on Dawn Harden from Premoni in lane three, too. I think she might get into the mix of things. Set. We have been clean on all our starts so far today. Natasha Foreman in lane six appears to be off to a very good start. Foreman from Evanston Township has made up two staggers to the right of her. And now we come around the turn and get ready to come down the straightaway. It is Foreman in lane six along with Carrie Fink in lane four. And Foreman has a big lead as she comes down the straightaway. Now here comes the tough part of the race. The hurdles just don't seem to be as easy to jump as you saw Foreman get tied up there. The question is, is can Fink catch her? One more hurdle to go. Foreman will hold on and win. Fink will be second. And in lane three, Don Harden of Creek Moe will come in third. You received an indication from Foreman of just how difficult those final two hurdles can be. 42-42 is the unofficial time, but Foreman with a big victory for herself and also for the Everston Wildkits. We see as they come around this last curve, their legs start to get a little bit heavy, and instead of running through the hurdles, they begin to jump the hurdles. You don't necessarily want to leave the ground. You want to be as close to the ground and close to the hurdle as possible. But you'll see she start, her legs get heavy, and on the next hurdle, she really jumps off the ground, and that's not a good way to run through the hurdle. See, she jumps, it becomes more of a jump, and I think it's just because her legs are tired, but she still holds on for the victory. The surprising thing about that was the third hurdle from the finish, she went over it so cleanly and so beautifully, and then all of a sudden started having problems, but it didn't affect the outcome of the race as Natasha Foreman picks up first place in the 300-meter low hurdles. When we come back after this timeout, we'll get a look at the monitor.